Okay, so we will begin with our circle already divided into 10 and I'm going to number the points on the circumference and this will really help me explain certain points as we uh, go through. So we'll put in place our fivefold rectangle and before we do our usual division into five angles in the two corners, we're going to add some other lines in. Um, I've drawn this construction a few times and my whole objective with it was to try and communicate how to draw it and have verification points in place so that you can maximize your accuracy. Because often if we're drawing a quarter, the accuracy needs to be really good because we're drawing it at a small scale. So that's why I chose to do some additional lines. So the first set are um, 10 going to eight and then 10 going to two and then five going to seven and five going to three. Next, when we divide our corners into five, we usually stop at that division line, um, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go all the way through to their numbered points. So one to eight, one to seven, one to six, you can see is already drawn, and then one to five. And then six to 10, six to one has already been drawn, six to two, and then six to three. Next, I'm going to put in my dividing line that is between 8 and 9, so 8.30 and 3.30. Does that even work? <laughs> Seeing it's not 12 hour clock, but hopefully. And let this one go through to the edge of the circle. There's some nice, interesting, useful points that we'll use. That one and that one. We next need to draw a vertical pair of lines, and it comes from the intersections either side of 10 through to the intersections either side of 5. And it hits one additional point at the centre on that dividing line. We need to connect these diagonally to one another and then draw in a very super important pair of vertical lines. So this time they're hitting two intersections that are horizontally in line with one another. And when you put the ruler position, it might look as though it goes, goes through another point, but it doesn't. It's just these two points. So there's three proportioning circles. So this inner, very important vertical line, if you come in from the first intersection, that's our first circle. The second intersection is our second and third intersection is our third. Um, and do the same from the bottom. And these are the only verification points for each of these circles. So you just have to check them against each other. And um, I, for this one, thought it was in line with these two points, so one, two, three checking points. But when I checked it on GeoGebra, and I'll show you a zoom in, it's not a singular point. So therefore, just be careful and try to get the best fit you can for these, then these, then these. When you do this stage, if you find that your circles aren't matching, again, my advice always is to progress with the drawing, get to know the previous and the next steps, and then when you return to it, always try and improve that accuracy because then you're aware of the fact that this circle and this circle, they don't land exactly. So then you're more careful with the previous lines. You're more careful with the lines before that and so on and so forth. So continue, power on through, but then have another go. So our first outlining is along the eight to three line, starting at the edge of the five fold rectangle and stopping at our important inner verticals and the vertical line besides being super important it is involved in the actual drawing so is part of the pattern i love this line so we're going to use the circles now to start bringing together the shamsa outer middle inner and then inner middle and try and get the best fit for all of them and slide it up here and do the same um, the order in which you do the lines doesn't have to be necessarily the exact same thing, um, but I don't know, I find sometimes I can see things easier when I'm using a pre previous line. So connecting the outer circle, hitting this point on the important line, and then the middle circle. That's why I think I end up um, having to follow my own instructions, because one time I might do it in one order, and the other time I might do it in a different order, um, 
but you know the order isn't necessarily the most vital thing these three circles are the most important and working your way around them could be a way to do it but i'm doing it in a haphazard way maybe there is logic um we're going to complete this pentagon and this pentagon um but then because you know that's three points very close together it's useful to use this in section so this outline and this gray line underneath should hit a singular point on mine they're not really hitting one point and then they the line stops on the nine to four line so inner middle out and then stop on the nine to four line if i slide my ruler along and find those points again inner middle out and then stop on the nine to four line and then we're going to draw on top of the nine to four line very satisfactory drawing going into out and then into the corner in from the into the inner to the outer i don't know what words i'm saying anymore so we have a completed pentagon a completed pentagon this will have to be a completed pentagon so completing this tarange and extending so from so from the inner to the middle to the outer so we'll just go inner middle outer and line them up as best as we can but we stop on the outer vertical line okay now the power or the beauty of extending that dividing line now comes into play so this tarange you can see needs to be completed and it's parallel to the six to three line or can use these two points to complete it so i love how these lines serve more than one purpose in the drawing and there we have it i'm going to add some color now the fourth and final pattern in this um Algiri series and um, i've drawn it on a large scale several times i do like to show you my many drawings because i think it's important to realize um when you see a drawing how much uh, effort and experience goes into it and i think i've often seen people make things look easy and maybe i've been accused of that as well but it is on the shoulders of previous work okay so once you've drawn it at large scale you might want to draw it at a smaller scale i went quite small for this one i went for a radius of seven centimeters but just to give you the whole picture as per usual so from this one rectangle you can use a double that size piece of tracing paper trace one side fold it get the reflection tracing and then that's your piece that you can tile around to get one rectangle or two or however many you want if you reduce the scale or have a big piece of paper um i painted this one and it looks like this i really enjoyed the colors doing this um and i could see so many different shapes so the gradation uh, graduation in color from here to the outer helped me see different things um yes yeah, really lovely you can also do the circular tiling by taking this triangle drawing on tracing paper folded and then half the other half reflected to get this and then i ended up with this as my painting but look who uh, didn't position it in the center of the paper so be very careful as to the center so the center of your piece does not equate to the center of your paper okay enjoy and um i can't wait to see what you do